So we're back on this 2012 Volkswagen GTI. We've been running for about 14 minutes now. Our dash temperature is 36 degrees. Oh, 36 degrees, come on, Apple. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, you can't see it because the freaking Apple will not focus. Come on, Apple. Show the people what temperature it is. There we go, 36.2 degrees. And uh, that is coming from the temperature sensor and now the Apple doesn't want to focus again. Come on, Apple. All right, Apple's having issues. So that yellow sensor right there is where we're taking the dash temperature from. Oh yeah, of course, we are cold because that's how cars are supposed to be. They're supposed to be cold when you're finished with them. And uh, customers coming to pick up their car right now. I like to deliver the car like that with my finger writing in their nice clean glass where it's the same cold across their gla glass. Because <laughs> uh, when you deliver a car back to somebody and it's like this when you deliver to, especially when it's so cold, you can see the condensation starting up right here. See that? And uh, it's warm out today. We're, uh, where's my temperature sensor? Oh, shit. Let's, uh, let's get this temperature sensor rocking over to, uh, God dang it. Use a temperature sensor to, uh, here we go. Let's get this switch. So you can make these are higher or low side by flicking this switch. There we go. I just switched it over and now it'll be red. See how it's red like that right now? I didn't have it on, so let's turn it on. Okay, so now we're on. And uh, we'll take the temperature. What's the temperature of the air going over? So the fans are pulling in the air right there. Let's go back. And it looks like my iPad wants to have issues here. There we go. And let's link up our tool. See the red dot right there? Let's link up that return. Let's get a return. 72 degrees. So it's 72 degrees out right now. It's not under sun. But uh, this is what you get, and you can see the condensation there. Now, if I let this run another 15 minutes, and you put it on partial side and frost, this will all frost up with condensation. It'll start frosting up back there. You aim the air ducts going to the back, and it'll literally frost up back here, and you could write cold back here and everything like that. And you deliver it to your customer like that because usually your customers have never seen their car that cold. And when you do them right and everything is in perfect and there's nothing mechanically wrong, all the sensors are good. And you ha didn't have the guys with the whack off cans of AC Pro that are loaded up with oil and super lubricant and dye and leak sealing. They don't have two or three of those cans. So you have a couple ounces, too much oil from them using cans of AC Pro. And what happens when you use those cans of AC Pro and you keep topping off with them, all that oil ends up with the evaporator and you cannot get this if you use too many cans of AC Pro because oil does not conduct heat. So you end up with it, uh, you end up not cold by your super AC Pro cans. All right, guys, I'll see you later. That's how this one is. Oh, let's take a look down here. What do we got down here? Let me see if I can zoom in from you so you could get a focus on this. And our temperature, 34 degrees is the coldest temperature you see reading somewhere around there, 38, 34. See that minimum temperature jumping around? That's the temperature of the evaporator. When your evaporator is that cold, you should have a lot of condensation. And um, did it start leaking condensation under the car? Oh, we're just starting right now. There's some drops, a little wet spot right there in the center. The last vehicle I just did in the other, this same shop, this shop has three shops, three buildings in a row. I got four cars in the other building and I have one car right here. I got one car in the shop, about 10 blocks up that guy and one block down this way, I have another car to do. So my butt's been busy here. All right, catch you guys later. Don't forget your nylog to stop vacuum leaks and uh, your big blue to look for the micro leaks. See you guys later.